it's as simple as a checklist, being able to go from top to toe, as we call it in clinic, uh, in reviewing the systems that are affected in myotonic dystrophy, asking about mental health, asking about sleep, asking about attention and learning disorders, uh, and then working your way down further. How is your vision? Do you need to have your cataracts checked this year? How is your heart? Have you had any palpitations, chest pain? Have you had any fainting or dizzy spells, which you might not immediately think of as a heart problem, but it really can be a very important sign. Asking your doctor, I need to have an EKG every year, even if it looked normal last year, you need it to have it every year. Checking your lung function. Your lungs are really one of the most important organs in your body. Don't abuse them by smoking. Make sure that you've been vaccinated for your flu shots and for pneumovax vaccinations to help prevent those things that we can prevent. Um, swallowing problems. Sometimes it's hard to eat when you have myotonic dystrophy and things may go down the wrong way. When that happens, food and drink, if they get into your lungs, can give you pneumonia and that can be life-threatening. So that's something we wanna be able to prevent. So if you have any swallowing problems, coughing or choking when you're eating, tell your doctor so a speech therapist can help you either change your diet or change how you eat so that you're at less risk for this. Um, some more top-to-toe uh, problems. Uh, uh, gastrointestinal problems are really common. Doctors often mistake this for irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, and what this means is you might feel nauseated after you eat a small meal, and that is because your stomach doesn't move normally. You may also find that you have problems with constipation or diarrhea or being able to control when you go to the bathroom. All of these things can be part of myotonic dystrophy. Um, your endocrine system is involved. Diabetes is very common, which ironically has the same abbreviation as myotonic dystrophy. So your doctor might be confused if you see DM1 or DM2 on your chart. This could be misinterpreted as being diabetes type 1 or diabetes type 2 instead of dystrophia myotonica type 1 or dystrophia myotonica type 2. But you should never forget that you have an increased risk for type 2 diabetes and myotonic dystrophy type 1. This is something that can occur even if you have normal body weight. So this is not a disorder of obesity in myotonic dystrophy patients, and it's something that can be managed with diet and sometimes medication. Uh, other endocrine problems, thyroid problems, are, are fairly common, and hormonal problems can be common. So in men, testosterone levels may be low, and in women, periods may be irregular. <laughs>